The Allegro bus is loaded, loaded, loaded with features. On the exterior, this is, this is powered by 450 uh, horsepower diesel. It's a Cummins engine. The chassis itself is, is unique in the fact that it's built by Tiffin Motor Homes. This is called the Tiffin Power Glide chassis. You can actually see the T and the I there in the center of the wheel. That, uh, that is part of the Tiffin, determines it's part of the Tiffin family. Uh, the Allegro bus, the heavier chassis, it's designed to carry more weight than any of the others. Um, longer motorhomes. We build this up to a 45 foot. This particular motorhome, since we designed the chassis on it, we build the chassis, we do, we do some pretty cool things. Uh, beginning with the height of this chassis. This is a lot taller, a lot taller storage area than what we've seen on any of the others. This is called the XSP. On the back, we'll look at those letters, but the XS stands for extra storage. It's eight inches higher than the others. What's the benefits to that? Well, it's easy to get into, and obviously the additional storage that it allows us. In this, in this particular bay, See how easy that works? The freezer unit is a feature inside the bay, in the front bay on the passenger side. Slides out on the slide out tray. Very easy to operate. You can load that with fish and have great meals to come. One of the new features for 21 on the exterior is a stainless steel trim molding along the bottom of the coach. Man, it just sets it off. There's nothing else like it. When you see this, you know you're, you're living in luxury. This is, it's beauty at its finest. Storage, 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 here we go again. In the slide out trays, in this Allegro bus model, we don't even reach down to to open the slide out. I'm simply pushing the button on the side of the door to operate the slide. More storage, another electric slide tray. Another cool feature that we, that we have on the Allegro buses is the LED lighting underneath of the slide outs. All the slide outs have the LED lighting. In addition to that, we have the blue LED lighting underneath the coat. So when we're sitting outside uh, with, the, with the neighbors under the campfire, we have that unique beauty going on in our coach. <clears throat> Continuing on, water, we have water, uh, water tank access in this storage area, as well as the water tanks. One thing that's very, very unique that I don't know anyone else is doing it, but uh, because Tiffin owns our own fiberglass company, we do something in our slide outs on the Allegro bus that is awesome. Most slide outs are going to be built in sections. They'll have a wall a floor, a roof, and another wall. And that means they have trim molding in all these sections. But at Tiffin, we mold these in a fiberglass mold. They're one piece. This is built like a spa or a swimming pool. So what does that mean? It means it's not going to leak, and it's also durable. It's not going to squeak after we put about 40,000 miles on this motorhome. We're not going to have to worry about the squeaks and rattles that you commonly find on the slide outs after, after time, after a period of time. But all of the four slide outs are going to be built in a mold. You can tell the rigidity, the strength. 315 tires on the Allegro bus. What does that mean? That means they, they handle more weight capacity. You can, you can haul it in this motorhome right here. It has it. Access air panel or air 
access in the back. So these come with a 25 foot coiled air hose. We can hook the uh, air hose up to the back. We can air up our beach toys or whatever. We have two, uh, two air outputs, one back here and one in the front. Also a drain for our, our ping tanks, which is part of the air ride and air brake system. The Tiffin Power Glide chassis, this is part of the electronic system. The multiplex wiring is a standard on the, uh, on the Tiffin Power Glide chassis and inside the motorhome. But on the, one of the pluses on the multiplex, it uses about half the amount of wiring and it uses half the amount of connections, which means a lot less chance for any type of short uh, in now or in the future. Batteries have the cutoff switches like we saw earlier. The access to the rear engine. This is the larger of the engines that we've seen. One thing that's missing back here is the radiator. We'll see it, it's on the side. We actually, this engine is large. It's an L9 is, is the distinguishing uh, characteristic of this engine. And it's large enough that the radiator right here has to be mounted on the side. It's too large to be mounted on the rear like other motorhomes. So this cooling package is designed for the big engine there. It's pretty awesome, pretty cool. This access is for our DEF. Helps the fuel mileage on, the, uh, on all the diesel motorhomes. One thing that we do that's pretty unique on, uh, on our chassis is we use a hydraulic fan. And what that simply means is we do not run the belt that the others do around the pulleys and all. It, what we do, we separate that. And by not running that through the engine, it doesn't take as much of the power. Basically, we're giving you about a half more mile per gallon than the others do. It's pretty neat in a motorhome when you, when you travel the miles and you're looking at mileage. In this compartment, this is our storage for the uh, electrical cord, 30 foot power cord. We simply pull it out and plug it in. When we get ready to go, instead of manhandling the cord, we push the button, and with the push of a button, we see the, pa uh, the cord reel up on the reel, reel. Third slide out, fourth slide out. Ah, here we have a new feature. This is called the AquaHot 450D. The AquaHot is what heats our water and gives us our heat inside the coach. This runs off diesel or electricity. This coach happens to have a 150 gallon tank diesel. It's the largest fuel tank uh, that we offer. So when you get to your destination, if you wanna park for months at a time, you've got a, if you fill your tank with 150 gallons of diesel, you have enough diesel to last. And by the way, we'll talk more about this AquaHot system and how it operates in, in the interior there. In our wet bay, we have some of the similar things that we've seen before. Um, one new thing right here is the water hose reel, similar to what we saw a moment ago. It has the push button that will reel it up when it's time to store it. The filtration system is a standard. Um, we have a, a little knob here that we can turn in adjust the heat in the basement area that comes from the aqua hot. Slide tray, again, the electric. We saw the same thing over there. It does operate both, uh, both sides, just like we saw in the manual style. Oh, and here we have the power, the batteries. The batteries and the, hy the hydraulics for the jacks. So the batteries, you can see they're, they're very tall in stature. 
Um, we have six batteries. These are for the house. We have separate batteries for the engine on the other side. But these are the big, bigger, larger um, six volt batteries there. And then in the front is our electrical panel with the, uh, as I was talking about earlier, the air hose right here. So we have an air hookup in the front and an air hookup in the rear. So either way. Pretty neat, a little feature that's hidden back in here. If you ever have an issue with these slide outs going in and out, and hopefully you never will, but if you do, there's a little button here that's a override button. You can actually, you can actually run the slides in or out. So we, we try to think of everything to give you a, a pleasant journey. We want your, your trip to be enjoyable and take all of the, all the hassle away. So, all right, moving right along. Let's go join Haley and see what's going on inside. Hey, Haley. Hey, Jerry, how are you? Good, 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 good. Isn't right. she a beauty? Every time I walk in here, I'm just wowed by the beauty. Uh, of the motorhome. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Haley. Of course, you too. So, so man, what do you think? The first thing I notice when I walk in here is just all these, these the, lighting. the um, lighting. The accent lighting, the lighting under the cabinets, um, in the ceiling, and these creases up here. Um, it's beautiful. There's a ton of beautiful. lighting in there. And the floor just reflects the lighting also. You know, these lightings, uh, all the lighting in here is LED. You know That's what awesome. that means? It means I can touch it. It's cool to the touch. In the old days, not that long ago, we didn't have LED lighting. It wasn't available. Right. And each one of these lights, if we had all these on, we'd warm it up 12, 15 degrees in here. So it's pretty cool. The LED has allowed us to do so many things. One of what you just mentioned, putting lighting throughout this coach. Right, right. It, and it lasts a, forever also. And I tell you, everyone tells us, it's like storage. People tell us all the time, you can never put too many lights in one, and you can never put too much storage in one. So it's a great thing you pointed that out. We do have the indirect lighting, as you said, above, above the ceiling decorative areas and all throughout. So this motorhome has three air conditioners, 15,000 with heat pumps. And what's really cool about, we call this system, we named it Extraordinaire. We kind of took off on the extraordinary. It is extraordinary. Right. This system, it's awesome. And we're built in the south. We're in Red Bay, Alabama. It's hot, just much like it is here in Texas. So we really know what heat is, and we pay special attention when we're designing air conditioning systems, uh, and which is what we did here. So a few years ago, when we, when we were ready, when we decided we needed to design a new system, we, uh, we talked to some of the engineers out there, and what they told us, they said, get rid of all the hot spots, meaning put in more return airs mm -hmm. and put more cold air exhaust through here. So how this operates, everything on the passenger side, every one of these, and there's about 15 of them, they're all cold air exhaust. And everything on the driver's side, again, about 15, they're return air. So this thing actually has a circulation effect like your home does. So the cold air comes down and the hot air is uh, removed. Wow. So we've taken out, taken out most of or all of the, uh, the hot spots inside here. So it's a lot easier to cool this coach than it is some of the others. Even though it's a big 40-foot coach, it's somewhat easier to cool. <clears throat> all right. So how do you like the, uh, I noticed the shades here. How do you like our shades the solar shades here. You see they're different. Yeah, they are. They are from the different. other. They're very decorative. They're cool looking. They're very yeah, attractive. I really like those. So Yeah, and they're through the whole coach, right? Oh yeah. 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 Good eye. Um one other of the features that Tiffin is using more of, it's the living room T V mm -hmm. across from the theater seating. Well so, that's all it's also a pocket T V. It is. So yeah, let's so. say that you know what? If we were if we own this coach and we had people and we had people over and we were not watching TV, we're doing exactly what you're doing here. Let's let's use the window. Let's let that natural light in. Mm -hmm. So so lower that and and completely get it out of out of eyesight here. Easy done. Well, and it's great for when you're on the road. You just tuck it away and go. 
easily done with simply the push of a button. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Check out the uh, recliners, uh, not recliners, the theater seats while you're here. These things are made for a king and queen. You found the button to operate them. Let's see. So we will, yeah. We, oh, we don't have our external power on. We don't. So <laughs> easy to do when we, when we have our power or our inverter turned on. Uh, yeah, the way, very inverter, comfortable. Yeah. Very comfortable. It's hard to get up now after sitting here. <laughs> so, our inverter is a 2,800 watt. So we've grown in size here on this coach. We have a few more features, so we need a little bit more inverter power. So we, we do have the expanding island or the pull-out kitchen, just like we've seen in some of the Phaetons. Right. It's yeah, easy that's to awesome operate. For, for prep space. Uh, it just gives us that I much that. more. And by the way, I mean, look at the counter space as it is, mm -hmm. and then we get so much more. And also to make our cleanup duties a little easier, the wa uh, dishwasher. Yeah, and it's with the, the custom cabinet as well. Isn't it cool? Yeah. A lot of people don't even see it because it is. It's custom designed and built, so you don't even really notice that it's a dishwasher. So you see this in a lot of the higher-end homes. Yes. Their sinks. Check out the size. Beautiful sinks. Mm -hmm. Beautiful stainless steel large sinks with the grates in the bottom. They're heavy. They are. This is heavy. So and then the stove. What, what about the stove top? <clears throat> ah, this one. I'm glad you mentioned that. This one is a chef's dream. This is an upgrade again. I've said it before, but Vought upgrades their motorhomes. They they do so much. I love it that they uh, upgrade them like they do. This is a Wolf induction cooktop. Um, if you're a chef, if you're into cooking. You know who Wolf is. <laughs> the same company that manufactures Wolf builds Sub-Zero refrigerators. A lot of people have heard of the Sub-Zeros. Right. They're very expensive. So is the Wolf, uh, the Wolf cooktop. So what? why is it so much better than the rest? Because it's uh, very articulate in the way that you can adjust the temperature. It just works beautifully. Right. The people that own them, they brag on them. So, and this this motorhome comes with the, the pots and pans that go with this, right? It does. Yeah. Any it, all the induction, uh, all the induction cooktops come with a set of the pots and pans that are to be used with that motor, with great. this motorhome right here. That is great. The Whirlpool convection microwave, a design that's a little higher grade than what we've seen in the past. Control panels mm -hmm. throughout. Um, the refrigerator. We have ice water in the door in the refrigerator. We have a positive lock that we add to this just to make sure that when we're running down the road, we're not going to... Nothing's uh, going to fall out. Yeah. Yeah. No accidental spill. LG brand. Everything we've seen so far is high, mm -hmm. high name brands. <coughs> ah. And then the big pull-out pantry. Floor Ooh. to ceiling pantry. Yes. What about that, man? Yeah, that's great. That's a couple of weeks worth of uh, groceries. Yes, it sure is. Now, another... Another feature on this pantry that's pretty awesome, we're parked, our engine's not running. But say we're, we're, we started up, we're running down the road. What we've got is an automatic lock when our key is on and our engine is running. So if we try to open this, it's going to be locked. We have to press this button on the top to disengage the lock and allow us to pull it out while we're running. Yeah, that's a great, great Neat feature. Deal. Easy to use. Our half bath in the center of the coach with a porcelain toilet. <clears throat> yeah, it's got storage behind the the uh, mirrors there also. And the window. The window is something we it's it's pretty pretty neat. We've asked we've been asked for the windows in the bath forever. And we we tend to do that. A little spray nozzle on the side to help clean it out and it's easy to operate. The spider. Yeah, that's a huge panel. That's Control the big panel. one. That one's easier to see than some of the others. We just grew in size. You can you notice that. So the spider will allow us to control the lights. The battery power tells us where we're at. Temperature, all three of the air conditioners, the aqua hot that we talked about earlier, and our floor heat. This unit is equipped with a two-zone floor heat. So eh, not only does it have the heating the heat uh, pumps in the three air conditioners, but it has uh, heat in the floor. So if we turn these on, they're noiseless. Yeah. And that is awesome. great for, for a trip in the, up in the mountains or in the oh, winter. Man. When you're running it's, down the road and sometimes the heat doesn't work as well as you want it to, when you turn the, the floor heat on. on, that solves everything. 
In addition sure. to that, we also have the Aqua Hot, which is the heater. That's the best heating system on a motorhome that's ever, ever been. It's great. Um, you don't have the three inch ducting in an Aqua Hot system. So it allows us to put the heat ducts where we want, not where they'll fit. So it's pretty neat. You, you can heat or cool this motorhome extremely well. King bed is a standard in our coaches. Solid surface. When we get into this price point, we're going to see more solid surface. Mm -hmm. We have CNC routers throughout the plant, so we can cut these to the design, um, the design that uh, is required. This one, you can yeah. see it's pretty neat. Pretty nice. Yeah, that's also got the tuck TV, the hideaway TV in here. It comes up. An additional fireplace a in fireplace. the rear. Yep. So on the doors, the doors self-closing. So the self-closing hinges, same thing with the drawers. You just have to get them to a certain point and they do the, the rest. The easy close. Oh, it's very okay. nice. Check out this, the his and hers bath and in the rear the bath. The sinks are beautiful. This is, of course, the bath and a half. We saw the half bath, and here we are in, in the master bath. This, they are beautiful, aren't they? The washer dryer, of course, and then the wardrobe. Another feature that we have in here, when we get up into this motorhome, this level of motorhome, we're probably going to have a few bucks laying around. Yeah. So we can store them back here in our safe. Also, we have a wall safe built in. So it's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. awesome. And those beautiful LED lights in the closet. The I know LED I will great. definitely appreciate that. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. The shower. Oh, man. Just a touch of class here. Yeah, just look at that true seat. touch of class. You like the seat? Yeah, I do. It's beautiful. If, it's, uh, if it happens to be in the way, you can simply raise it up to remove it. So mm -hmm. if we need a little more space in the shower, we have it. Again, the toilet, porcelain toilet. It's a push-button operation which makes it simple, very easy. All of our vents are going to be finished out with handcrafted wood, just mm -hmm. like the rest of it. The whole thing is handcrafted. so It is luxury, for sure. I like that. One it's luxury, I, for sure. Yes. One thing I noticed that we haven't pointed out before okay. is this um, vacuum down oh, here. Yeah. Can you tell me more about that? Absolutely. So this vacuum, you notice it's centrally located. And it has a 30-foot cord. So in order to operate this vacuum, you simply lift the flap, plug it in, and that automatically starts the vacuum to working. Okay? So then we have different attachment heads that we can use on here. So if we want to vacuum the dust out of the yeah. windows or up high, we can do so. But what's even better, one of the neater features on this, um, it's tile, right? The whole thing's tile. So when we... Uh, when we when we sweep this up, and we'll have to do that, you right. know, we track sweep. dirt in from the campsite. So, when we sweep it up, what do we do? We get a dustpan, sweeping the dustpan. But with this one, instead of a dustpan, we kick this over, sweep it right into mm -hmm. the little floor area. No dustpan is required. It's an auto dustpan feature, is what it is. So, and then we simply just close it push back. Push it back wow. to turn it off. That is awesome. It's pretty neat. It's a Man, features deluxe in this in this coach. All right, so I think that's it. I think we covered most of it or yeah. some of it. it. Really, there's a hundred more. There's so many features in this unit. It's gorgeous. I hope you come out and see us at Vought and, and see these coaches. They're, they're beautiful. Anthony said earlier, he said, the folks at Tiffin are passionate about these coaches, and we are. It's hard not to be. It's hard not to be when you have a product like this. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, Haley. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video! If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vought RV.